Hey, it's Aaron. Susanna. Mauricio. Mark. Ariana. Savio. Dustin. And this is your Monthly Think If It Update. The month of May has come and gone, and summer is here. A lot of course creators are taking time now to review how their businesses have been performing in the first part of the year and making some adjustments if needed. We've also been making some adjustments over May to all the major updates we've released in Thinkific so far. Now's a great time to go back and check out other monthly updates to see what we've released and stick around for this one because we've got more coming. We've also updated your favorite blog posts and released new free video training that will help you make the best decision for your business this summer. But first, let's check out what's new to Thinkific this month. A few months ago, we released Site Builder a new way to create course websites with themes purpose-built to sell and deliver your online education. Since then, we've been busy updating and upgrading Site Builder to make sure it's the most reliable, easy to use, and effective way to build your Thinkific website. If you have not added the code of your Site Builder theme yet, we recommend a quick upgrade to get all the fixes and new additions. For example, we just made it possible to edit the CDA in your header that appears on your course sales pages. And we've made Site Builder websites more translatable for non-English speaking course creators. Go ahead and upgrade your theme in your website's theme library. If you have questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to give us a shout. So most of your students already have accounts with other apps like Facebook, Google or LinkedIn. That's why we're proud to present social sign-in for students. If you've upgraded to a Site Builder theme, you can now enable new students to sign up with their Facebook, Google, or LinkedIn accounts. When they do, their account details get automatically filled out, which makes it a lot easier for students to sign up on your course website. We think your students are really gonna like it. A situation that we hope you never find yourself in is creating a course that nobody wants to take. So to help prevent that from happening, you can do what's called pre-selling your online course. Validate the demand for your course before you actually create it. If you want to learn how to pre-sell your course successfully and see some examples of some of our customers that have done that, check out our guide to pre-selling on our blog. After you create your business and you find your product market fit, the next step is to start scaling at a consistent rate. If you're an entrepreneur who has been having a hard time scaling your business, we've created some free video training for you to take on that challenge. You'll learn about the most common impediments to scaling any business and how online courses can help break down those roadblocks. Learn more at the link below. Looking for live help? This month we launched Office Hours. You can join us in our Facebook group to learn more about using Thinkific and to get your questions answered live. We also have live interviews and masterclasses coming up this month and in-person workshops with Thinkific ambassadors in a city near you. If you want to learn more about Thinkific events, head over to the events tab on our Facebook page. Last month, our CRO Miranda Levers appeared for a panel put on by Women Who Tech an organization dedicated to disrupting culture and economy that has made it difficult for women entrepreneurs to get capital for their startups. If you're a woman entrepreneur and want to learn more, go to womenwhotech.com. And speaking of inspiring women, a big congrats goes to Alicia Tormi for winning our customer photography contest. Alicia teaches encaustic painting, combining paints and fire to create unique art. Learn more at learn.alishatormi.com. And that's it for your May Think of update. I'll see you next month with more news. But in the meantime, keep your eye on the blog for any updates in between.